Hi everybody, today I will show you how to create banner in Elementor. So let's just begin. Okay, to create the banner, let's just click on the add new page and we will be building a banner using Elementor. Okay, so let's write down the title of the page. So it would be new banner. Okay, so now let's click on the added with Elementor. Alright, so as you can see this, we are inside the Elementor editor. So how can we create the banner? So to create the banner, first of all, I have to create the section. So in the section, I would like to have the two column structure and in the two column structure, the height would be fit to screen. All right. So this will do the work. All right. So now, first of all, I have to add the background color to our section. So let's click on the added section here and click on the style. And in the background, let's just click on the gradient here because I want to use the gradient as the background. All right. So the first color will be the kind of blue color. All right. Okay, so this is looking all right. And now I have to add the second color. That would be the black color. And now let's just set the location of my second color. All right, so this is looking good. So now I have to set the angle here. So it would be 70. All right. And now I have to set the location of the first color. Okay, so this is looking okay. So as you can see the values here. So we have the two colors in our background as the gradient. All right, so now we are good with the background of our section here. So now we have to add the content into our column. So first of all, I would like to add the image here. So let's just drag the image from here and put it here. And now I have to select the image. Okay, so I would be using this image. Click on the select. All right, so now I have to change the height of our image. All right, so the height would be actually 500 px. And now I have to set the value of the object foot. That would be the cover. This is looking okay. And now what I need to do, I have to decrease the width here. All right, so I have added the height. So now what I need to do, I want to add the border radius. So that would be 30 px. And this is looking okay. All right. So now in the second column, I would like to add the headings and the paragraph. So add the heading here. Let's just write down the name here. And it would be H1. And let's just change the color of our heading. It would be white. Okay, so this is looking all right. And now I have to change the typography here. So the typography, it would be Poppins. All right, so this is looking fine. And let's just go back. And in a similar way, I would also add another heading here. So this would be H3. And the title would be Senior Web Developer. All right, I just change the color again. And let's just change the typography here. It would be the Poppins again. And I have to change this into the uppercase. So let's click on the uppercase here. And now let's just go back and let's just add the text editor here. And in the text editor, we would actually have a description here. Okay, as you can see here, let's just change the color here. That would be a kind of light gray color. And let's just change the typography here. That would be the poppins again. All right. So now in the last, I have to add the button here. So let's just add the button. In the button, I would have learn more. So we would also have the icon here. So let's click on the icon library and it would be the arrow. And I will simply go with this one. Click on the insert. Okay, so I have to change the position of the icon. That would be the after text. This is looking fine. And we have to add the spacing. This is looking all right. Okay, so now I have to change the background color of the button. Actually, I would be removing the background color. All right, so let's just make this color transparent. Okay, and I have to add the border. So that would be the solid. We have to add the width here. And I have to change the color of the border. So that would be actually the blue color that we have in the background. This one. All right, so this is looking okay now. And now what I want here is I want to have the background color when I hover over my button. So for that, I just click on the hover and just click on the background color. Let's just select the color from our background here. All right. So now this is looking all right. So now when I hover over my button, now you can see this, we have this background color and this is looking fantastic. Okay. So we are done here with the content. As you can see here, we have the title, we have the paragraph, we have the image and we have the button. So now we have to do the adjustments here in the spacing. Alright, so first of all, I have to change the ratio of the width of the two columns. So first of all, let's click on the edit column here. And the width of the edit column would be the 40. And it would automatically change the width of our second column 
into the 60 as you can see here so now let's click on the second column here and here i will simply remove this width space into the zero so now let's click here on our paragraph i have to adjust the line height here so now this is looking fine and now i have to add the spacing here between the heading and our paragraph so let's click on the advanced here and now here let's just unlink the value of the margin okay so it would actually have 20 here all right so now this is looking okay as you can see here the spacing between our image and our heading in the paragraph is actually very low so i simply want to increase the spacing here so let's click on the edit column and from here what i need to do is just click on the advanced and here in the padding let's just unlink the values here and i would add 40 here all right so now this is looking fine okay so we have created our banner here so now let's click on the publish and let's just have a look at our banner all right so as you can see this our banner is looking great so now what we need to do we have to test this on the different screens so let's just test this on the tablet and as you can see this the tablet view is actually okay but the thing is we have to improve the look of our banner on the mobile screen okay so let's go back into the elementor editor from here and the tablet is looking fine but we need to do the adjustment in our design on the mobile screen all right so first of all let's just click on the edit section and go inside the advanced here and i need to click on the responsive here and in the responsive as you can see here we have the reverse columns in the tablet portrait and we have the reverse columns in the mobile portrait so i want to reverse the columns in the mobile portrait so i will just simply enable this and this would actually reverse the columns for us okay as you can see this first of all we have this heading and the paragraph and after that we have the image so now i have to adjust the spacing here so let's click on the edit column here and I need to add the margin here. So that would be the top. So let's unlink the values here. 30 here. This is looking fine. I think I would go with the 40 here. So let's add the padding here. Unlink the values here. So it would be 20 on the right side. And it would also be 20 on the left side. So this is looking fine. Alright. So now what we need to do. I have to change the spacing here. Of the line height. So let's click on the style. And click on the typography here and i have to change the value of the line height here okay so i think this would work fine all right so now i have to add the spacing between our first heading and the second heading so let's click on our second heading click on the advance and unlink the values here in the pairing let's just add the 10 here and now this is looking fine and now what i need to do i have to put the values into the center so let's align the heading into the center so now let's just click on the second heading and align this into the center as well. So now let's just try to do the same thing with our paragraph. So let's align this into the center as well. And this is looking fine. And we have to do the same thing with the button. Click on the content and put this into the center. Okay, so now this is looking fine. And now we have to decrease the size of our image. Okay, so it would be actually 370 pixels. And I also have to decrease the max width. I think this is looking fine. And one more thing, I have to add the spacing between the button and the image. So let's click on the advance. And let's just unlink the values here in the padding. And click on the 20 here. And the padding in the top. As you can see here, we have added the padding on the top here. Alright, so as you can see here, our banner is looking great on the mobile screen. Alright, so in the tablet screen, I just need to adjust the size of my image here so let's click on the added column here and here in the layout the column width would be 50 and we have to adjust the size of our second column here it would be 50 as well all right so now we have to adjust the size of our heading here so let's click on the heading here it would be h2 and the second heading would actually be the h3 so let's convert this into the h4 and let's just click on the paragraph here click on the typography here and change the line height here this is looking fine all right so i think we are good here with the second column as well so this is looking fine and now if i just go back to the desktop screen all right so in the desktop screen i just need to adjust the size of the heading here so it would be h1 this would be h3 all right so now everything is perfect here so let's click on the update and let's just go back to our banner here so let's click on the refresh here 
all right so as you can see here that our banner is looking great on the desktop screen so let's have a look at the tablet screen and the mobile screen all right so this is how it is looking on the tablet screen it is looking really great and if i just decrease the size here and this is how it is looking on the mobile screen and this is looking really great here so this is how we can create the banner in the wordpress using elementor and if you really find this video useful hit the like button and subscribe the channel